On March 6 of 2023, a Reddit user had taken a photo of his kitchen late at night. The Reddit user claims that over the last couple of years, he's been hearing mysterious noises coming from his apartment. For the longest time, he's been trying to figure out the source of these noises. But then one night, while being in his living room, he takes a photo of his kitchen and captures this. It was only after enhancing the photo that he was able to see what looks to be a tall figure standing in his kitchen. He believes that whoever this is, is the person responsible for the strange noises he would hear at night. But it only gets creepier because only a few days later, the Reddit user had posted a video of another strange occurrence. He left his camera recording overnight where the figure was spotted and captured this. If you look closely, you can see what looks to be a figure moving in the dark, but it's only after brightening the footage that the video becomes even more scary. This mysterious figure might just be the same person or thing caught in the previous photo. Now it could be that a squatter is hiding inside his apartment, but then again, some viewers think that this supposed person is actually something supernatural. There haven't been any further updates on this story, but until then, you be the judge on what was captured. It's late at night when the following happens. The person recording is alone at home when all of a sudden, something bone chilling is caught on camera. Now the person in question is known as Caitlin and it was two years ago that she was involved in a terrible accident. On August 8th of 2020, Caitlin jumped off a rope swing at a very high altitude, causing her to break her neck after landing on a pile of rocks. This injury was so severe that she had to stay home for more than a few weeks until she recovered. But during her stay at home, Caitlin would encounter something that still haunts her to this day. No one else is home when this is captured. Somehow, the two doors open on their own, seemingly at the same time. Feeling beyond spooked, Caitlin sits on her bed, paralyzed with fear. But this wouldn't be the last of it, as only a few days later, this happens.
just like before, the same door closes on its own, leading viewers to believe that the room itself is haunted. Since then, Caitlin hasn't talked about this or the previous incident. Given how frightened she seemed in both encounters, it might be best to forget about them. After all, this terrifying encounter still haunts her to this day. This next video was recorded by a security camera inside an apartment complex. Not much is known about this video, except that it came from this residential building where the little girl and her family reside. The video starts off with footage of the young girl playing by a staircase. Below the stairs is what appears to be a small room. The little girl can be seen staring at something inside the room, but nothing noticeable can be seen on footage. Or at least, that's what the child's parents initially thought. It was only after watching this video multiple times that the parents were left horrified. Something was actually captured inside this room. Take a look. It now becomes clear as to why the little girl seemed hesitant to go inside. A disembodied hand can be seen beckoning to the girl. It almost seems to come out of nowhere before disappearing into thin air. Even the cat who later joins the girl seems unsure about going inside. Whatever this might have been was concerning enough to make them reluctant about entering the space. This mysterious footage, like most videos, has yet to be solved. But until then, you be the judge on what was captured inside this room. There's a place in Mexico that used to be known as the Disneyland of Latin America. Reino Magico was a small theme park that opened in 1988 and closed only a few years later after multiple fatal accidents took place inside the park. It's unknown if the park had shut down for this reason, but some believe that the park had closed its doors for the simple fact that many visitors reported paranormal experiences while being there. This isn't surprising to some people as the park was built on a cemetery. Urban explorers are certainly creeped out by this fact, but they're even more creeped out by the statues that were left behind. Rumor has it that the statue of Snow White is haunted. Nightly visitors have reported seeing the statue in a spot that was not the same as where it was originally seen. It's as though it moved on its own. One night, a group of friends visit the abandoned theme park when something very strange is captured on camera. Take a look. Branded. No, 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 aguanta, 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 deja enfoque, deja que mi cámara enfoque bien, deja que mi cámara enfoque bien, deja que mi cámara enfoque bien, güey, eso no es el velador. No digas perras mamadas, güey, no digas perras mamadas, güey. Perdón, perdón. Güey, fue aquí. No digas mamadas, güey. Miren. No digas mamadas, güey. No, 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 Dios. No, 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 no. No, güey, no mames. ¿Qué fue eso, güey? No sé, no sé, no sé. No mames, güey. No, 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 no mames. ¿Crees que haya sido ella? No mames, güey, no mames. Feeling beyond spooked, the group sees what looks to be another person inside the park. But as they look closely, they see that whoever this is appears to be wearing a dress. They continue to watch and notice that how they walk is a bit strange. Fast forward to the group seeing the statue of Snow White, and it's at this point that they realize the color of its dress is the same as the one worn by the person they saw. 
Could it be that the so-called person was actually the statue moving on its own? The group seems to believe this, but of course, it isn't certain if that's the case. Had the group actually seen the statue moving on its own, or was this something else? Feel free to let me know your thoughts on this one. On May 24th of 2023, at around 10 p.m., a baby monitor captures something pretty spooky on camera. This video was posted by Marquette Jean, who's concerned for the safety of her daughter, as something very strange was captured inside her child's bedroom. The video begins with her daughter, who appears to be staring blankly at the window that's behind the camera. It's unknown as to what exactly it is that she's seeing, but whatever it might be, it seems to have her full attention. She continues to stare at this window, when suddenly, the camera picks up movement from inside the room. But, as we can see in the footage, nothing is moving. Now the family used to have a cat, and the camera would often pick up the cat's movement, but no cat is seen here, as their cat had passed away in August of last year. However, as Marquette watches the baby monitor, this happens. Upon seeing a strange cat-like figure on the baby monitor, Marquette bolts into the room and asks if a cat is in there. Confused as to what her mother had seen, Marquette's daughter replies no, but says that she's scared. According to her, there is a monster at the window. There's no monster in the window. I'll look. See? I'll look. Marquette checks the window and finds nothing there. Although creeped out by her daughter's response, she's more unsettled by the supposed apparition caught on camera. The family believes this may have been the spirit of the cat that they once had, but later passed away due to cancer. Whether ghost or not, Marquette and her daughter are shaken up by this footage. Like all videos, the question is begged, just what exactly had occurred that night? On October 25th of 2022, a paramedic posted a video of something freaky that occurred during his lunch break. The video is pretty short, so not much happens, but it's a certain detail caught in this footage that makes it quite disturbing. The video begins with the paramedic filming inside a hospital where a couple of surgeons are getting ready to transfer a very sick patient to a different wing. The paramedic walks out of the hospital to record them coming through. It isn't until later that the doctors arrive with the sick patient who, according to them, passed away only hours later. The paramedic then stops recording. Now, it was only after finishing work that the paramedic had watched this video and noticed something strange about it. Looking back at the footage, they noticed that during the time they were waiting outside for the doctors to arrive, something unusual was caught in the background. Take a look. If you look closely at the hallway inside the hospital, a dark, shadow-like figure can be seen standing at the end of the hall. It's there for just a few seconds before suddenly disappearing from sight. The paramedic has no idea as to who or even what this might have been, but judging by its appearance, viewers believe that an entity of some sort was seen. They further add that this entity might have been death itself, considering that the patient in this video passed away that same day yet it's still not sure as to what was captured. 
but one thing that's certain is that whoever, or whatever this was, didn't seem to belong in this hospital. It remains unknown as to who, or what, was caught on camera. It's late at night, when a group of friends decide to visit their school to do something that they would later come to regret. Rumor has it that the school they attend is haunted. According to some students, if you knock on the door of the nurse's office, which is located at the back of the school, someone, or something, would knock back. Not sure if the rumors were true, and feeling adventurous, a girl named Devi and her friend set out to explore the back of their school and knock on the nurse's door. But what they capture sends them running in a panic frenzy. This is what they caught. Go! Go. Just knock on it, knock. No, go! Knock harder. Let them know. <laughs> Out of nowhere, a blood-curdling scream is caught on camera, sending the girls running in full terror. They have no idea where the guttural screams came from, but one could only guess the source of the screech. Viewers believe that it came from either inside the school or near it, which only helps to prove the rumors as true. Something haunts this school. But of course, what's your stance on this? Supernatural or something else? You let me know. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. It's late at night, when a girl named Pershka records a video in her kitchen. The purpose of the video is to show an ice machine that she recently purchased as there's something about it that creeps her out. The ice maker, according to her, makes a very strange noise during the late hours of the night. So one night, as the ice machine makes its unusual noise, Pershka heads over to the kitchen to record the sound. But, as she records this video, something pretty creepy is caught on camera. What was supposed to be a short, random video turned out to be a terrifying clip that Pershka has recently taken down for unknown reasons. But it seems that the video itself says it all. Have a look. Like a scene out of a horror movie, Pershka walks into the kitchen and captures for just a split second the figure of a little girl. Even creepier is that whoever this was just disappears as soon as the lights turn on. It's for this reason that viewers believe she had taken down the clip, as otherwise it would continue to remind her of this disturbing incident. Whatever was captured has left her extremely unsettled. Even though this video was taken a few years ago, it is still unknown as to whether or not Pershka had captured something paranormal on camera. two nurses at a children's hospital encounter something pretty spooky. They had just finished checking on their patients when one of them begins to act nervous. Seeming a bit scared, they walk out into the hallway and proceed to stare at something. The other nurse follows along to see what it is that they're seeing. What happens next inside this children's hospital is creepy to say the least. Watch. Down the hall, a small balloon can be seen making its way towards the nurses. It moves in a straight path before somehow making a turn inside the nurse's room. Both nurses even say that early on strange things were happening, from a patient who claims that something had touched their leg, to the male nurse who says that the same balloon was following him around. They believe that something paranormal had occurred. But as with most videos, you be the judge. 
Was a ghost caught on camera? Or was it something else? You might recall from previous videos about a woman named Lauren Combs who's been experiencing strange happenings in her house. Well, just recently, Lauren had posted some new footage regarding her unusual situation. Now, just as a recap, Lauren has had numerous occurrences happen at home that are thought to be paranormal in nature. From the doorbell going off on its own as though someone was ringing it, to Lauren's hair being pulled by an unseen force, things at home have not been normal since moving in. All that's happened has made her concerned for the safety of her dogs besides her own. She believes that something evil dwells in her house and has bad intentions for both her and her dogs. In a recent video, Lauren is on the porch talking to her boyfriend on the phone when this is captured. door suddenly closes by itself before the doorbell starts ringing out of nowhere. It was immediately then that Laura knew that this was another paranormal occurrence she had to run away from. Fortunately, she safely escapes from this terrifying situation with both her dogs, but this incident was so frightening that she had to spend a few nights at her boyfriend's before having enough courage to come back. A couple of days pass and Lauren finally returns home. Like most incidents, this one has left Lauren considering whether or not she should move out viewers feel that it might be best if she did, but until she does, it seems likely that the activity in her home will continue and perhaps intensify as seen in previous videos. Just like those, this one remains a mystery. It's late at night when a mother and daughter arrive home. The security camera at the front entrance records them pulling up to the gate of the house when out of nowhere, something very strange happens. This video was posted by Mary Carmen, the daughter in this video, who lives on a small farm with a lot of animals. Now the animals on this farm would do things that would make her feel as though she were taking care of children. To her, this place feels more like a daycare than a farm. But the biggest child, according to her, is her dog, who's known as Scott. From dancing with his so-called mom, to going on boat rides whenever he gets the chance, Mary Carmen has a special place in her heart for Scott. But unfortunately, one night, something happened that left her completely devastated. She had come home with her mother after having dinner at a relative's when she found Scott lying in his bed. He seemed unusually quiet, which he never was. Scott had passed away. Now, it wasn't until grieving for days on end that she finally looked at the security cameras that captured Scott's final moments before passing. Based on the footage, he passed away only a few hours before Mary Carmen returned home. He was already gone before she came. But after looking at the footage of when she arrived, she immediately noticed something strange. What was captured had brought her to tears. Have a look.
A strange figure that looks to be a dog suddenly appears on camera. Mary Carmen believes that this may have been the spirit of her dog, given that he just passed away that same night. According to her, he seemed to be waiting for her to return home before departing. It's as though he wanted to see her one last time before going away forever. To this day, Mary Carmen watches this video to remind her that even though Scott is physically gone, he is still with her in spirit. But, like all videos, you be the judge on whether or not the ghost of her dog was captured. This next video was recorded by a security guard who was looking over at the security cameras inside a factory when he noticed something very strange. Somewhere inside this factory, a welder is working alone, but there's something about him that doesn't seem right. The security guard takes a closer look at the footage and immediately starts to feel uneasy. After watching this incident on the camera feed, he quickly calls over the welder to look at this video and explain what was happening in this clip. But just like the night guard, the welder was left completely baffled. He had no idea as to what was captured. Now this video took place during the night shift, which makes this incident twice as creepy. Nobody else had been working at this factory except the welder, but according to him, another welder who had the day off had come by to visit him. They had talked for just a bit before the night guard called over the welder to look at this footage. But after watching the video, the welder was left speechless. This is what was caught. As it turns out, the other welder who had dropped by to say hi wasn't actually there. The welder who's seen on camera swears that he saw the other worker in full uniform as though he was ready to work. They had even shaken hands according to him. But when looking at the footage, no one appears to be there. Although pretty strange, this incident gets a whole lot stranger after hearing what happened to the worker who apparently had the day off. To their shock, the factory had received news that this worker had passed away in his own home. His cause of death remains unknown, but knowing that he died on the same day this occurrence took place has left the welder feeling spooked. Could it be that the spirit of the welder's friend had paid him a visit during his shift? Or could this whole incident be explained by something else? As with all videos, there has yet to be a definitive answer to this question. In the following video, a band is getting ready to play in front of an audience by giving a small speech about their music and how the band came to be. It appears that this whole event is a goodbye party for the band, as this will be their last show ever. Now the start of this video seems completely normal. However, only minutes later, something happens that leaves everyone feeling very unsettled. What happens in it? is just downright creepy. Take a look. As the band plays a song, someone or something can be seen in the background. This mysterious figure appears out of nowhere behind a TV while seemingly watching the band play. 
even strangers, that whatever this was doesn't appear on camera till much later in the video. It's as though they, or it, was hiding from sight before somehow appearing out of thin air. But according to viewers, there's something else about this figure that's even creepier. If you look closely, you'll see that whatever this is is hiding in a very tight space between the TV and the wall behind it. If this had been an actual person, then this must have been the slenderest individual ever seen, as otherwise, they would not have been able to fit in a space that small. To this day, it's still unknown as to what exactly was captured. But whether person or ghost, there's no doubting that whatever this was has got to be the stuff of nightmares. The following video comes from a man named Bobby who lives with his daughter inside a house where unusual activity has been happening recently. Bobby can't shake the feeling that something is haunting both him and his daughter. He's been documenting these strange occurrences ever since they started, but out of all occurrences, the following has left him the most unsettled. Bobby's in his living room when out of nowhere, strange noises come from his bedroom. He grabs his phone and records the following. It's either in my room or Sky's room, but Sky's passed out right now. But it's crazy, you know? She's sleeping. See, I'm telling you, I keep hearing weird sh I think it's coming from my room now. that man yo yo f this f this the sound of footsteps is heard right behind him as though someone had walked into the room spooked out by the noise he proceeds to close the cabinet and walk out for the next few months bobby would continue to post videos of strange happenings in his home but it's the most recent video that has left him the most concerned he's alone at home when this is captured. I know y'all hear the footsteps. I'm like shaking already. <laughs> so early in the morning too. See, I know you hear them pacing in there. Get out of here, man. Hello? I'm like freaking out. Mysteriously, the same room where the footsteps were heard opens up on its own. Like before, Bobby was spooked out of his mind, but it seems not as much as when the following incident had occurred. Bobby is once again alone at home when something unexplainable happens inside his daughter's room. This is what he captured. Hello? See, there's her piano. Don't mind her room. She has so many damn toys. You gotta clean up like every day in here. Hello?
But at least y'all caught that part. <laughs> Yo. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. I'm good. Nope. Nope. I'm good. Shut that. I'm telling you, every time I'm here by myself, man. <sighs> See, look, there's her piano still going off in there, man. The toys inside his daughter's room mysteriously start going off by themselves. Now, not much else is known about Bobby's situation, but he continues to post these strange happenings on his channel. He hopes that someone will explain what's happening, as the activity in his house seems to be getting stranger and stranger. In the following video, a group of friends are having a small gathering as they all collectively sing to a song of worship. The person recording pans around the room to capture this harmonious ceremony, thinking that this evening will end well. But little did they know that something would happen during this gathering that would haunt them forever. Be sure to pay close attention, as no one had noticed it until looking closely. Take a look. As the camera pans over to the hallway, a shadow-like figure can be seen bolting down the hall at a speed beyond human capacity. Its rapid movement and dark appearance were enough to leave the family extremely unsettled. Viewers believe that this ceremony might have had something to do with the sudden appearance of this figure. They can't help but think that this may have been some sort of dark entity that was provoked by the ceremony. Not much info is given on this video, so it's hard to be sure if that's so. But whether paranormal or not, the sudden appearance of this dark figure is creepy alone. It's around 2.30 in the morning when a man films himself reacting to online videos. The man in this video is known as Zark, and unlike his previous reaction videos, this one captures something that has left him extremely terrified. Now this isn't the first time Zark was frightened by something in his home. You might recall from previous videos about the strange occurrences that his family encountered in their old apartment. From small pets that would often turn up dead the next day after being brought home, to clocks on the wall that would mysteriously stop working even though they were just recently replaced, it's safe to say that Zark has had plenty of creepy experiences. But nothing compares to what happened recently in his new home. Just like before, he gets on camera all that's been happening. The following are things that have taken place only weeks after moving into his new apartment. So I hope you can see the clock is stuck. It's most probably a battery fault, but two clocks going at the same time, it's obviously is very suspicious. Suffice it to say, things have not changed since moving out. The same odd occurrences that took place in their old apartment are happening here as well. Clocks suddenly stop working, and pets mysteriously start dying. But creepiest of all, the doorbell goes off when no one is at the door. Now of course, it could be that someone had rang the doorbell as a prank like Zark mentions. But it's what happens only a few nights later that makes the doorbell incident all the more creepy. It's late at night when Zark captures this. Strangely, 
the keys to the door start moving on their own. Initially thinking that a breeze had moved the keys, Zark checks to see if there's a draft, but he finds nothing. The keys seem to have moved by themselves. Feeling pretty spooked, he tries his best to forget about this incident, but fast forward to only a few days later and things get a whole lot strange. One night, Zark is making a reaction video while filming himself in his living room. It was past midnight, so he didn't expect anyone to disturb him, but little did he know that someone or something would still interrupt his video. Take a look. Oh, there is the white shadow. As if things couldn't get any more terrifying, this happens. A loud bang is heard at the door, scaring the living daylights out of Zark. He backs away slowly, fearing that something dangerous is at the door. But just like before, nothing is there. Naturally, he was scared beyond belief. In fact, he was so scared that in a follow-up video, Zark couldn't help but express his feelings about everything. Watching the video, you can see how much of an impact these occurrences had on his well-being. You know the ghost is not scary. They just f your life up. You see the worst part of the haunting is not the activity which happens at night or any noise disturbance or <laughs> I'm sorry. Clearly, these occurrences have taken a toll on Zark's mental health. He can't help but think that something from his previous home has followed him into his new apartment. The activity won't stop, and it seems to be getting worse. However, for just a short period, nothing strange had occurred. But then one night, the most disturbing thing was caught on camera. Zark is woken up by someone knocking at the door. Treading carefully towards the door, he captures this. Can you please stop it? The voice of Zark's child is heard outside his door, but when checking on his son, 
he's clearly lying in bed. If his child was in his room, then who or what was mimicking his son? Like previous occurrences, Zark is baffled by this incident. He continues to document anything strange that happens in the hopes that someone could help him and his family. But based on recent videos, it seems they have yet to receive proper help. So then, just what exactly is happening here? To this day, Zark has no definitive answer to this question. On November 22nd of 2021, two policemen were called to search a house after the property owner suspected that someone had broken in. But, while searching the property, something very strange happens. The events that occurred during the search have left both officers extremely unsettled. All events were captured on a body cam worn by policemen. This is what was caught. But they're out of town right now. They're with his parents. And how many rooms do you have? Um, two upstairs and one downstairs. All right, uh, we're gonna have to go and search the house. Is it okay if we go in? Yeah, yeah, of course. You don't have any like pets or dogs or anything? No, no. Right. Just stay here, man. Police, if anyone's here, make yourself known. Police. Anyone inside? I'm gonna check downstairs, you get upstairs. Police, anyone inside, make yourself known. Yeah, we're good. 
Now, something that's odd about this video is that all the closets appear to be empty. Although somewhat strange, the video's description states that the homeowner occasionally rents out the house through Airbnb. So, as to prevent guests slash renters from stealing personal items such as clothes, leaving the closets empty is necessary. Now, another thing that viewers point out is that the cops don't bother turning on the lights. This is actually normal though, as taking the time to find the light can spell life or death for the officer. All officers must be ready to confront any danger during a search, meaning that all their attention is solely given to the threat at hand. However, the doors opening by themselves when the officer searches upstairs, and the sudden footsteps heard right behind him are things that viewers can't seem to explain. Whatever it might have been, the homeowner can rest assured that nobody's inside. But depending if she's a believer in the paranormal, living with a ghost, or something else entirely may be equally disturbing. This video, like most others, remains a mystery. On May 20th of 2023, a couple of nurses enter a section of a hospital that many doctors and nurses are afraid to enter alone. The section of this hospital is known as the Old ER, and it's a floor that's been abandoned for quite some time. Many patients have passed away on this floor, and some of those patients were children. Nurses claim that the floor of this hospital is haunted. One night, a group of nurses working the night shift decide to visit the floor just for fun. However, little did they know that something pretty terrifying would occur while being there. The following footage is their video. Watch. You guys. Haunted ER? What about it? We're gonna go. No. Haunted ER, haunted ER. I'm really good too. Oh my god, my head is huge. Stop. Chloe, it's so I can't even. Camera. Huh? Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. We got a chance for the haunted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. It's just like... I'm, I'm not excited about this. I didn't even I'm get a finish eating my sandwich. It feels like a, um, we're getting on a... Uh, I'm nervous. You nervous? Why are you nervous? Because it's hot. <laughs> are you nervous? Yes. Have you seen anything? Uh, I, sorry, I thought you were. I thought I felt you were like, right <laughs> It's just freaky. You guys wave in the camera right now. Reflection. <laughs> they like see me. Mm. They feel like you're gonna see. Oh, that's something. the same room. Oh. Yeah, of course we're going to go with you. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh, it feels weird. Was that you? Yeah. This room feels weird. Ooh. <sighs> Oh, 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 the curtain moved. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. It moved. No, it, moved. It, it moved. It moved. Yes, it did. 
It did. How did you not see that? Oh, okay. Ooh. As one of the nurses walks further into the room, a hospital curtain suddenly moves on its own. The nurse, terrified beyond belief, bolts out of the room at full speed, feeling completely unsettled. But then, within seconds of this happening, a cane mysteriously falls on its own. Now the following clip, which was captured by another nurse, shows the same exact incident, but from a different point of view. Take a look. What? What? The curtain moved. No, it didn't. It did. Shut up. No, it didn't. Why would a curtain move? How did you not see that? Oh, my God. The nurses in this video believe that this may have been the ghost of a child who recently passed away in that same room. But, as with most occurrences on this floor, they also think that it could have been another spirit. Whether ghost or not, the nurses in this footage were left terrified by this mysterious encounter. In the following video, a group of friends are chatting over livestream and having a heated debate about a particular basketball team and its players. This wasn't meant to be. Uh, Leaf, I gotta disagree with you, man. All seems normal in this live stream, when only minutes later, something happens that scares the living daylights out of everyone. Be sure to pay close attention to Christie's screen, as what happens in it leaves everyone feeling very unsettled. Take a look. Y'all need to bail off for of those two people and a couple of more pieces. I do like RJ Barrett, but I don't know. It might be time for him to go as well. You never really know. So I, I say you just build off of those people. Was that a ghost? I, I just go. personally. Oh, yo, Junebug, chill out. Yo, that wasn't even a person. Junebug, chill out. Bro, I got time I, for this. Yo, did we catch a ghost on stream? Bro, stop. No, stop it. Stop Junebug, it. Bug, chill back. out. I'm I'm alone. Alone. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey oh, I, I, I didn't see it. I, I didn't see lights. anything, man. I was looking at it. Turn on the lights. Stop playing, bro. I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at it. I'm going to go look at it right now because what? Bruh. What? What, Junebug, what happened? That what? was not a person, bro. This, bro, chill out. What are y'all talking no, about? Really? J-Rob, stop hey, playing. Yo, 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 yo. Upon slowing down the footage, a very faint silhouette can be seen walking past the camera behind Chris before quickly disappearing into thin air. In a state of shock, everyone forgets the conversation they were just having to discuss the pressing question at hand, just what exactly had appeared behind Chris. Bro, what? Now it isn't until later that Chris searches the apartment to see if anyone might have broken in. Fortunately, he finds no one there, but this only makes this occurrence extra creepy as it seems to suggest that something other than a person had been caught on camera. Did that see it, bro? bro? Oh, what the f was bro, that? And then oh, Chris God. looked both Chris, ways like he. I felt like a cold chill, but honestly, bro. Oh my God! Bro. The fact that Chris turns around when this mysterious figure passes by has left his friends thinking that he had sensed this ghostly presence. Just who or what had appeared in this live stream? Ghost or not, this occurrence has left both Chris and his friends beyond spooked. An urban explorer named Chris Hill returns to an abandoned warehouse and encounters something far more terrifying than the last time he came there. Previously. Chris had found a place that is believed to be extremely haunted. It wasn't until looking back at the footage that he took during this exploration that Chris realized he wasn't alone. Someone, or something, had been watching him throughout the entire night. Whatever this was, Chris can't help but feel that the supposed supernatural entity is the reason why he felt as though someone had touched him. Not sure what to make of it, and disturbed by what the camera had caught, he made it clear that he'd never come back to this place. But. It seems that Chris has had a change of mind, as his most recent video shows him returning to the site. I'm back. This is probably a very bad idea. Now whether or not viewers have convinced him to return is unknown, but if one thing is certain, it's that Chris does not want to be here. He takes the same path he took last time when exploring this place, and just like before, when he gets to a creepy corridor beneath the building, things start to get a little strange. Wow. Yep, it's really, it's still really cold in here. Look, you can see my breath now, look. Like, that's how you know I'm not lying. But look, I'll do it out here.
you don't see my breath. But as soon as you come in here, oh my god, it's freezing. As soon as you come in here. I don't know if the camera can see that, I hope so. But that's crazy. The change in temperature upon entering the corridor is no doubt strange, but it's the following incident that's by far the strangest. When Chris arrives at the site where he felt as though someone had touched him, he's immediately overcome by a feeling of dread. Now you don't have to look closely to notice a blue light in the distance. This is where Chris had set up the infrared cameras, which is the same spot where he set them up last time. Near the cameras, however, there's a small staircase that leads to a space below that Chris hadn't fully explored. He proceeds to check out the space and captures this. weird noise in this room. That's creepy. It's a weird noise in this room. If you listen closely, you can hear what sounds like someone whispering in a deep, monotone voice. Viewers agree that this alone would have made Chris run for the hills had he listened to the audio right then and there. But it's the following incident that did just that. As he heads back upstairs and arrives at the creepy corridor, things take a terrifying turn. This is what was captured. Really creepy in here. As I walk, it sounds like people are talking. I don't know if that's just the sound of my feet echoing or what. It's really creepy. Immediately after Chris hears a noise coming from above, a piece of debris from upstairs hits the ground, sending him running out of the corridor in a panic frenzy. He arrives back upstairs, unaware that during this time, the infrared camera from below had caught footage of a ghostly figure walking about before suddenly disappearing. What's even more strange is that the figure appears only seconds later after the piece of debris had mysteriously fallen on its own. Feeling beyond scared, Chris looks around to find the piece of debris that fell. This big ass box just fell on this grate. Maybe it fell from up there. Oh, oh my god, my heart's racing. Okay. 
you know what? I'm gonna put the IR camera up here while I explore. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I got the IR camera set up at the top floor. By setting up the infrared cameras on the top floor, Chris hopes to capture footage of who or whatever it might have been that dropped the box. He sets up the IR cameras from below and continues to explore the place, specifically downstairs. But when Chris returns to where the IR cameras have been set up, this is captured. In a swift motion, Chris is yanked by an unseen force, sending him straight to the ground and knocking him out upon impact. Minutes pass, when he suddenly wakes up to find that he's been unconscious for a while. Realizing what just happened, he grabs his things and immediately leaves the place. With all that's happened, as well as the previous incident from last time, viewers no doubt believe that something sinister dwells in this place. Whether malicious or not, the question is begged. Did Chris capture evidence of a paranormal happening? Or is there something else that could explain this? Although it's hard to be sure what occurred, one thing is certain, Chris is definitely never coming back to this place again. This next video comes from a bus driver in Singapore who had no idea that his day would start off with a very spooky encounter. It's 7 in the morning somewhere in Singapore when the driver of a large double-decker bus checks the security cameras of both decks inside the vehicle. On his dashboard, we can see live footage of what looks to be an empty bus, but upon looking closely, something pretty unnerving is seen on camera. Take a look. Uh... <coughs> 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 Tengok ni eh Okay kat atas ni ada orang kan Piwak tu lah Bagi pagi dah buat seram lah Nabi pun ada orang kat atas kan Sial kan, tak ada orang kan Berderau darah aku lah, celaka betul lah Aku puas jeritkan dia suruh turun tadi kat, kat, kat tempat turun orang Nak bawa lah ke sini Eh, okey mak betul lah As if seeing someone in what is supposed to be an empty bus wasn't creepy enough The bus driver checks around and finds no one inside It appears that whoever, or whatever was seen on camera, had simply vanished if no one had been inside the bus, then who or what was this? On September 18th of 2023, a couple of friends are meeting up at a friend's house to practice for a dance recital. They'll be performing in a few days, so they want to make sure their dance is perfectly choreographed. Throughout the night, the friends record themselves dancing solo before eventually filming their collective dance. 
But fast forward to only a couple hours later, and something very strange happens. According to the group, they were playing a game inside a room when something pretty creepy happened. This is what was caught. Oh, wait, middle, down. Okay, okay. Oh. I'll do the... Yeah. I feel like I'm in a 90s dance. Let's do it. You can only move when the lights are off. You can't move when the lights are on. You have five moves to get to me. Are you ready? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Mm. All right. <laughs> you have five moves to get to me. Something fell right? Yeah, it was sitting right here. Was it? And it just fell off? Okay. It fell? No, that's how this blew off. There's no way it was here. Fell. Feel how heavy this is. I don't know. Yes, oh, it, wow. was, it was sitting right here. Did you touch was... that? No, she didn't touch no, it. I don't know. That's. I don't... Maybe it was like. Wait. What? Was no. that already Why is that? Moving? Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, oh my god. You guys. What the hell? That was okay. So what? I know. What the so hell? What the hell? Oh my god. Wait, wait. Oh my god. What is. Wait, wait. I'm really scared. As if playing this game wasn't already creepy enough, this happens. Now, right before the video ends, a loud thump is heard on camera. Hearing this sound was enough to silence the girls, as they already knew what it was. It was the same crystal cube that had dropped earlier. This was strange, considering that it was placed securely on the shelf, and has never fallen until now. Casey, who was in this video, further adds that it seems to have flown off the shelf, given how far it landed on the floor. It's as though someone, or something, had flung it. But even stranger are the events that followed afterward. A ceiling lamp begins to move on its own, and a shelf door pops open out of nowhere. Understandably, the girls ran away in sheer panic. Now they have yet to post more videos explaining the events of that night. But until then, it seems that this incident will have no conclusive answer on what exactly was captured in this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Also, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and make sure to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any uploads in the future. Also be sure to check out the official TikTok account for this channel. That being said, until next time.